everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make this beautiful crochet neck warmer. I made this with granny squares. It's really been very beautiful and since I made this with cotton color it is suitable to wear during uh, cold days uh, for spring and also fall time. Of course you can easily wear this for winter time. You can also make this with chunky yarns, with woolen yarn, acrylic yarn, that completely depends on you. But if you want to make this in the same way that I made, I made this with cotton color. It's been like this. I used the beautiful ribbing on the neck part. Yes, dear friends, let's go on how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. And please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much, dears. Let's go on how to make this. For this project, first of all, we are going to make squares and also triangles. For triangles, we need one, two, three, four and five pieces of triangle. Here, before making this video, I made four pieces of triangle like this and I am going to make the fifth and last triangle with you. And for the squares we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces of squares we need. And here before making this video I made nine pieces of squares and we are going to make the tenth one with you. Later on, I'm going to show you how we are going to join all squares and triangles and later on how we are going to make the ribbing part and how we are going to give the final shape. Okay, dear friends, let's start. Firstly, I will start with triangles. I'm taking any color in my hand and I will start by making a magic ring. I am doing like this. Keeping here. Making one chain. Upon this I'm making three chains. One, two and three. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring and making a double crochet. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring making another double crochet. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring, making another double crochet. Okay, it's been four. This is five. And this is six. There will be totally six double crochets, dear friends. I am considering the first three chains as double crochet one. This is double crochet two, three, four, five, and six. Since this is half granny square, I mean triangle, we are starting with six double crochets. Now I am pulling this yarn end and closing the center. The first round is finished, dear friends. For this reason, I'm finished with this color, making one chain and I am cutting the yarn. It's been like this. Now I am on the round two. For the round two, I'm taking another color in my hand like this and inserting my hook through the first space here like this. I am keeping this yarn end in the back with my finger, pull through and yarn over, I am making pull through. Three chains, one, two and three. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the same space, yarn over, pull through. First of all, only two loops I am making pull through leaving these two loops on the hook, yarn over, inserting my hook again in the same space, yarn over, pull through, making only two loops firstly. There are now three loops on the hook. I will make pull through these three loops in one time, like this. I am making two chains. 
yarn over I am keeping this yarn end in the back now I am going to the following space here this space inserting my hook yarn over pull through only two loops I'm making pull through like this keeping these two loops on the hook yarn over inserting my hook again in the same space yarn over pull through making only two loops firstly there are now three loops on the hook I will make pull through these three loops in one time like this two chains one two yarn over I am going to the following space inserting my hook in there yarn over pull through only two loops I'm making pull through leaving these two loops on the hook yarn over inserting my hook again in the same space yarn over pull through only two loops pull through I'm making there are now three loops on the hook yarn over now I will make pull through these three loops in one time like this but in this way we are coming to the end of the round I came to the end of the round like these blocks we made one two three four and five before finishing this round after making this block I'm making one chain and making another double crochet in the same last space like this after that I'm making one chain and cutting the yarn when starting and the finishing we are going to use these first uh, spaces these spaces uh, for increasing in the sides for the round three I'm taking another color in my hand and as I told you I am starting by inserting my hook through the first space in this space we will make the increasing at the same time first of all I am fixing the yarn like this and upon this making three chains one two and three yarn over inserting my hook in the same space and I am going to make three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three like this now making one chain yarn over going to the following space and making three more double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three one chain coming to this space and making three more double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three now we are on the top I mean at the upper round we are going to make the corner let me show you this corner on the fourth round we are going to make for this reason uh, in order to give a neatly triangle shape uh, in this space I am going to make two chains this is one and this is two yarn over I am going to the following space and making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three making one chain going to the following space and I am making three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three I am making one chain going to the last space here inserting my hook in there and first of all making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is two and this is three since we are going to increase on the upper round I am making one chain and making another double crochet like this because on the upper round we are going to increase in this space 
making one chain and cutting the yarn like this. Yes, we are on the upper round, I mean on the last round. Let me show you one, two, three, four rounds it's been. I'm taking another color in my hand and for the increasing I'm inserting my hook right here and first of all I am fixing like this three chains one two three since this is the last round I'm not going to increase for this reason after making three chains beside this I am going to make only two uh, double crochet like this I do not have an extra space because from now on I will not increase I am finishing in this round but uh, if you want to make bigger and bigger triangles of course that time I will make three double crochet and when go to the upper round you are going to increase uh, by inserting your block in this side but this is our last space for this reason I am not making increasing spaces I am making one chain going to the following space making three double crochet in there this is one this is two and this is three making one chain in this round we are making one chains and we are coming to the top you know in this top we made two chains we are coming to uh, this space uh, by making one chains between the blocks and let's come to this top okay i i am at top i made my block in this top that i made two chains here now i am going to make the corner let me show you like this dear friends i am going to make the corner at top for this reason i'm making two chains yarn over inserting my hook again in the same space and making three double crochet this is double crochet one this is double crochet two and this is double crochet three like this i made the corner now i am making one chain going to the following space making three double crochet this is one this is two this is three making one chain coming here making a block after that making one chain coming to this last space making a block like this let's come to the end of this round i came to the end of the round uh, since I'm not going to increase in this round, since this is my last round, I am not going to make uh, one chain and a double crochet because in the previous round we made this. Uh, why, while me, we made this one? Because on the upper round we are uh, making the increasing. But now we don't need the increase. This is our last round. For this reason, I'm just making one chain and cutting the yarn this okay dear friends our triangle is finished now I am going to clean the yarn ends for the center uh, since this thread is long I'm going to use a darning needle like this through the back stages I'm inserting my needle and pull to row and to the other side I am doing the same thing like this pull through that's enough I'm just going to make a knot and just cutting the yarn for these uh, short threads I'm going to use small size hook if you have this kind of small size hook, it is easier to hide the yarn ends for the uh, short threads, for example here. But if you don't have this uh, kind of small size hook, you can make this in the same hook you crochet, no matter. Since this is easier for me, I am doing this. Through the back stitches, 
I am sliding the thread in the same color and like this I am trying to hide it and also I am trying to secure the uh, yarn end. Okay, sliding. Okay. Now we can cut it. We are hiding all the other yarn ends in the same way I showed you, dear friends. I cleaned all the yarn ends in the back side. It's been like this. Yes, dear friends, we finished the triangle. Like this, you are going to make four triangles more. There will be totally five triangles. Like this, one, two, three, four, and five. Like this, you are going to make totally five triangles for this neck warmer, dear friends. Later on, I'm going to explain you how we are going to make the squares. These squares, I mean. Now it is time to make the squares there are now nine squares in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I am going to make the tenth one. This is the last one with you. You can also use your scrap yarn for these squares. I'm taking another color in my hand. And again, I'm starting by making magic ring. I am doing like this. one chain to fix the ring upon these three chains one two and three yarn over and inside inserting my hook through the ring and making a double crochet and making another double crochet and making another double crochet I made totally three double crochet, dear friends, and I am considering the first three chains as double crochet one. There are now four double crochet. Let's complete this 12th double crochet. Yes, I finished this round. There are totally 12 double crochets. Of course, I'm considering the first three chains as double crochet one. After making three chains, I made 11 double crochet, and with these three chains that are now 12 double crochets. Now I am completely closing this ring by pulling the thread like this, pulling tightly. Now I am inserting my hook on top of the first three chains. Let me show you like this. On top of the first three chains, I'm inserting my hook, yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch, making one chain. The round is finished. Now I am cutting the yarn. For the round two, I will go on with another color. I'm taking this color in my hand and I am starting by inserting my hook through any space between two double crochet, like this. Any uh, where you can start. I am keeping this yarn end firstly and then upon this. Okay, now I am making three chains one, two, and three. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the same space like this and making a double crochet. I am making two chains. Yarn over, going to the following space between following two double crochet. First of all, I am making two uh, loops pull through, keeping these two loops on the hook, yarn over, inserting my hook again in the same space, yarn over, pull through, only two loops pull through. There are now three loops on the hook and I will make pull through these three loops in one time. And I am making two chains, yarn over, I am going to the following space, inserting my hook through that space. First of all, two loops, pull through, 
yarn over inserting our hooks through the uh, same space yarn over only two loops pull through I'm making there are three loops on the hook and pull through making two loops and in the same way I am coming to the end there will be totally 12 blocks like these dear friends I came to the end of the round I'm inserting my hook on top of the first three chains yarn over pull through making a slip stitch this round is finished as well making one chain and cutting the yarn like this I'm taking another color for the round three and I'm inserting my hook through any space and first of all fixing the thread like this three chains one two three and I am going to make two double crochet in the same space this is double crochet one this is double crochet two considering the first three chains that are now three double crochet now making one chain going to the following space here and making three double crochet in this space this is double crochet one this is double crochet two this is double crochet three making one chain going to the following space and making three double crochet like this after each three blocks I am making two chains normally you know between these blocks we are making one chain but after make one two three blocks we are making two chains and inserting my hook following space making three double crochet okay making one chain going to the following space making three double crochet this is two this is three making one chain going to the following space making three more double crochet this is double crochet one this is two and this is three you will remember after making one two three double crochets three blocks I mean here we made two chains and after making two chains we made three more blocks and after this three more blocks we are making two chains and going to the following space making three more double crochet one two and three like this we are completing the round after making three blocks here uh, then we are going to make two chains and like this we will go on while, uh, while we are making two chains after making three blocks because on these uh, two chains we are going to make these corners four corners for this reason in the previous round in the round three uh, four times here 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 and here four times we are making two chains for the corners okay dear friends like this let's finish this round I came to the end of this round here I made two chains after making uh, three blocks and here I made two chains after making the following three blocks and here I made another two chains after making these three blocks I made last uh, three blocks and when finishing I will also make two chains and inserting my hook on top of the first three chains like this yarn over pull through making a slip stitch 
making one chain and cutting the yarn. We finished this round as well. We are going to make the last round. For this reason I'm taking another color in my hand and I'm starting on any corner here. I'm going to make a corner here, also make a corner here and here. Any uh, corner space that we made two chains, we can start. First of all, I'm starting by fixing the thread and three chains, one, two, three. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the same space, making two double crochet. This is one and this is two, considering the first three chains as double crochet one. Uh, now we made three double crochet, considering uh, with these three chains, like this. This will be the corner. Let me show you with another color. In the corners, we, we made three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet. But when starting, in order to give a very neatly a corner shape, I am uh, starting with a one block. Later on, I am coming, finishing the round. When I come to the end, I am uh, completing this round. The first corner is uh, being made like this. But the others, of course, when crocheting, they will be with full corner. Okay, making one chain. I am starting with half corner. Going to the following space, making three double crochet. Okay. making one chain, going to this space, making three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Making one chain, going to the space that we made two chains here. I'm inserting my hook. And in this space, we are going to found our uh, full corner. First of all, making three double crochet, two and three, making two chains, yarn over, making three double crochet, this is one, this is two, this is three, making one chain, going to the following space, making three double crochet, one, two and three. Let me show you. It's been like this. We start with a half corner. Later on we came here that we made two chains in the space. We made three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet and we completed this corner. This is corner one, this is corner two and like this you know here after one, two, three blocks, you will remember we made two chains here. We are going to come here and we are going to found the full corner like this. Later on, one, two, three blocks. After three blocks, we are going to make uh, the corner uh, four. This is corner one, corner two, corner three, and corner four. And when coming to the corner places, we are making our blocks in the spaces and between the blocks we are making one chain. Yes, dear friends, like this, uh, we are completing this round, we are coming to the end. Yes, I came to the end of this round. Now I am making one chain yarn over, coming to this space that we made three double crochet and making three double crochet here. This is one, this is two, and this is three. We made two blocks and for the space I am making two chains, inserting my hook on top of the first three chains, like this, yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch, like this, making one chain, I am cutting the yarn. Our square is finished, dear friends. We are cleaning the yarn ends in the same way how I showed for the triangle. Okay, let's clean in the back side. 
I cleaned all the yarn ends in the back side. The square is finished. As I informed you before, you are making totally 10 squares like this, dear friends. Okay, our squares and also triangles are ready. 10 squares here and 5 uh, triangles here, dear friends. Now I am going to explain you how we are going to place these as a triangle way and how we are going to join them to each other. Okay, let's go on how to make this. As you see here on this neck form, we are going to make a triangle shape, dear friends, like this. For this reason, I'm going to show you how we are going to place the squares and also triangles. Okay. I am starting with the squares firstly. Yes, four squares I uh, put one upon another and then from here till up three squares I will use like this. And later on, uh, two squares like this and one square like this. If we count one, two, three, four, and from here, one, two, three, four, but four here, three, two, and one. At each uh, following round, uh, one piece of square is uh, decreasing and here I am putting a triangle putting another and another and here another and another one to this end like this we made a triangle shape and later on we are going to join them with a main color of uh, neck warmer this uh, pink color I will use as a main color. This yarn is 100 gram, dear friends. Uh, this will not be enough. Uh, I advise you to buy two pieces of 100 grams, but of course you are not going to use 200 totally. Most probably one ball, one and a half ball uh, you are going to use. For this reason, for the main color, it will be better if you buy two pieces of uh, 100 or if you are using 50 grams of yarn, then I advise you to buy three pieces of 50 grams of, grams of yarn. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how we are going to join all these and how we are going to uh, give a triangle shape. Dear friends, I showed you how we are going to place the squares and also triangles. Now I am cutting the video here because the video will be very long. Regarding how you are going to join them to each other, I made three more videos. I am leaving the link of those three videos on the right side of this video and also I am leaving the link in the description box. Now please click those videos one by one and join all the squares and also triangles uh, in the way I showed you on those videos. After joining all squares and triangles, come to this video again for further steps. Yes, dear friends, we finished the triangle part of the neck warmer. From now on, we are going to make this ribbon pattern like this. And when we finish this, uh, we are going to make fringe. Uh, here, I didn't make fringe. I only made uh, single stitches but in this shell I will make fringe so you will uh, see both if you like fringe you can make with fringe if you want to make without fringe you can use like this okay now I am going to show you how to make the ribbing I'm taking my main color in my hand I mean the pink color I am starting from the right side okay I am inserting my hook through the first single stitch I am starting by fixing the thread like this. One, two, three 
chains I'm making and one by one I will make double crochets. I am going to the following single crochet. Let me show you like this. Yarn over, pull to row, a double crochet. Going to the following single stitch, making a double crochet on top of this one. Okay, one by one, I will insert my hook through each following single stitch and I will make a double crochet till the end. In this row, this is only what you will do, dear friends. As you see, one by one, I am going on. One by one, I am going on and inserting my hook through each uh, following single stitch and on this, I am making a double crochet. Okay, let's come to the end. As I showed you, let's come to the end of the uh, other side. I finished the first round of ribbing. I made double crochets till the end. When I come to the end, I made two double crochets since this is space. Dear friends, here the important thing is when you count the double crochets, it should be even number. It shouldn't be an odd number. I counted all the double crochets from beginning till the end. Mine is 112 double crochet. Uh, yours also should be an even number, dear friends. It shouldn't be an odd number. For example, yours also should be 114, 110, but it shouldn't be 111. It shouldn't be 113 like this. It shouldn't be an odd number. Okay, now count all the double crochets and try uh, it to be an even number. When you count, if it is an odd number, make one more double crochet in the end and complete it to an even number. Okay, dear friends, let's make this and then I will show you the next step. Okay, if you count it and if you see that your first round is also finished with an even number, then what we are going to do, we are going to make the second round. First of all, I will join these two edges to each other in order to give a, a circular shape for the neck warmer. I am inserting my hook on top of the first three chains like this. Yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch. Yes, I joined these two sides. Later on, when we finished all ribbing, if you like, you can sew up this and you can connect this totally. Now I am making three chains. One, two and three. Yarn over. I am going to the following double crochet. This time we will also make double crochets, but it will be a bit different. Let me show you. First of all, when starting, I am inserting my hook from front to back like this. Now I am in the back and I am inserting my hook from back to front. After making this, I am making yarn over, pull through, and now I am going to make a double crochet. And for the second, this time I will make the opposite. I mean, I will insert after making yarn over, I will insert my hook from back to front, going around the following double crochet. I am going to back again like this yarn over, pull through. Now I am going to make a double crochet like this. Now I will insert my hook from front to back like this and then back to front and make a double crochet. Yarn over. This time I will do the opposite. I mean I will come from back to front going around the following uh, double crochet, going to back again, and I will make the double crochet like this. Now I will do the opposite. I mean from front to back 
and then back to front and going to make a double crochet yarn over I will do the opposite of this uh, last one I mean from back to front and then from front to back it will go on all like this till the end of the round dear friends from now on we will always going on like this what we are doing the pattern goes on first of all from front to back and then back to front and double crochet and following from back to front and front to back and a double crochet it will always go on like this dear friends let's finish this row all around uh, as I showed you I finished this round it's been like this now I am at the end I will insert my hook on top of the first three chains yarn over pull through making a single stitch three chains one two three from now on we will repeat exactly what we did uh, in the second round step by step and for the upper rows we will do the same thing for example I made three chains yarn over here look at this this is raised stitch you see there is a cavity here this is raised this is cavity let's call this as raised stitch for the raised stitch what we are doing from front to back back to front what we did in the second we are doing the same thing for the third round and we will go on uh, for the upper rounds yarn over look this stitch this is a cavity there is a cavity here in the following how we made this by inserting our hook from back to front and then front to back and after that making a double crochet the following this one this is this is raised stitch I am doing the same thing by inserting my hook from front to back back to front and then making double crochet yarn over this is a cavity for this reason from back to front front to back making a double crochet yarn over this is here this is raised stitch this one following doing the same thing from front to back back to front and making a double crochet the following one here there is a cavity you know this is cavity for this reason doing the same thing from back to front and front to back like this and making a double crochet it will go on like this dear friend uh, this round and for the upper rounds till we finish the uh, ribbing we will always follow the same thing as you see the pattern start to be look like this here this one this is raised these stitches are raised stitch these ones these are uh, cavity there is a cavity here cavity here you see for the raised stitches we are inserting our hook from front to back back to front like this for raised stitch front to back back to front always for the raised stitches we will do it and for the cavity stitches I mean here for these ones this cavity you see here 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 like this for the cavity we will always make from back to front front to back and later on making a double crochet the pattern is like this dear friends as you see it's been like this we will go on till the end as I showed you and for the upper rows it will always go on like this when you come to the raised stitches you will make raised stitch on the upper rounds when you come to the cavity stitches here you will make the cavity stitch for the upper rounds uh, as well 
We are going to make this till we finish the ribbing. Let me show you the finished one. It's been like this when you finish it. These stitches I'm calling raised stitches. These ones, as you see, these are these are cavity. One raised stitch, one cavity stitch, one raised stitch, one cavity, one raised, one cavity. It will always go on upper and upper. My ribbing stitch is totally 14 rounds, dear friends. If you like, let's count together. Look, I'm counting like this. Uh, from the cavity stitch, I'm counting. It is easier for me. Look, this is one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay. Here we made one, two, and three. We are on the round three. When we finish the round three, upon this we are going to make eleven rounds more. Eleven plus three, there will be totally fourteen rounds, dear friends. Okay, let's make the ribbing stitch totally fourteen rounds, and I will uh, show you what is the last step, what we are going to do the next. Okay, dear friends. First of all, let's make totally 14 rounds of ribbing. Yes, dear friends, I finished ribbing. It's been elastic, very beautiful. This is the back side. 14 rounds I made this. It is enough for me. Actually, our neck warm is finished. You can leave it like this. You can make a single stitch all around this side and you can use as you see. But here I am going to make this one with fringes. For this reason, I am going to show you how you are going to make fringes in the edges. For the fringe, I am going to use 12 centimeters of cardboard like this. And I will make the fringe with main color, I mean pink color. First of all, I am going to wrap the yarn three times around the cardboard. I am leaving the first edge a bit longer, no matter, later on we will cut it. This is one time wrapping, second time wrapping, third time wrapping. And I am cutting the edge. I will use another scissors. I am cutting this edge as well. Okay, I am keeping at top. I'm keeping it like this. I will start making fringes from here uh, till the end. I'm not going to make no need because this will be uh, in the back. For this reason, this is okay. Uh, on the triangles, no need to make fringes. This is the front side of the neck worm. We need a hook for this one. Uh, the hook size is not important. This is three millimeters, but size is not important because we are going to use the hook only while uh, pulling through the thread, through the stitches. Okay, I'm inserting my hook from back to front through this stitch, like this. Taking this one, I will make it pull through to the back side. Okay, and now I will pull it through this loop and pull it. It is so easy as you see. Okay. Our first fringe is finished like this. Later on, we will cut the edges in a neatly way. For the second one, I am also taking the cardboard again and I will do the same thing. I mean, I'm going to wrap it three times. This is one time wrapping, second time wrapping, third time wrapping. And I am cutting. I'm cutting also here in the edge. I am keeping it at top and I will make another fringe. Uh, I am skipping one stitch going to the other and I am inserting my hook from back to front like this and pulling it to the back like this, pulling. Okay, 
the second fringe is finished I am going to make the third one okay always doing the same things taking our cardboard leaving the uh, starting edge a bit longer one two three times we are wrapping and cutting the yarn also cutting it from the bottom like this keeping it from top like this and skipping one stitch going to the other let me show you like this i'm skipping here this space going to the other it is enough if you go on like this by skipping one stitch and going to the other okay like this from back to front and pulling it through the loop and pulling it's going on like this dear friends okay you are skipping one stitch going to this space making uh, another fringe here skipping uh, this uh, following stitch going to the other making this one like this going on you are making the fringes dear friends okay i explained to you how you are going to make it like this all around all around you are going to make you are coming here when you make the uh, fringes always you will follow this side this side always like this you are going to do it okay let's finish making fringes let's meet in the end dear friends i finished adding fringes all uh, around the border now i will cut the edges uh, in order to get a neatly end if you like you can cut like this using a ruler like this and you can cut the end also you can cut the others like this but in order to cut all the fringes uh, in the same level in the same size i will make this not triangle like this i will make this like this flat uh, like this it is easier for me i'm going to use a ruler and i will cut these ends Yes, it's been like this dear friends we can cut the last ends in order to make it neatly okay it's okay now and for the other side I will do the same thing First of all, I am making flat, not triangle, and then I am cutting the ends. I am making this ends neatly, putting the ruler on the ends, like this, okay, and cutting the ends. As you see it's neatly now later on I will do the same thing for the back side I am making it also flat not triangle like this these are okay yes from this side making it neatly firstly putting the ruler in the end and cutting this it's very neatly now we will cut also the other side in the back we are making neatly firstly Yes, 
dear friends, now we completely finished a beautiful crochet cowl crochet neck warmer with fringes. I really love this project. It is also very fashionable. You can use this during winter, fall and also springtime. If you make it with chunky yarn, you can use this in very cold winter times. And if you crochet this uh, with cotton yarn as I make, you can uh, use this during fall time and uh, spring time and also the winter time of course uh, yes dear friends we came to the end of another project video hope you like this project hope you like this beautiful crochet neck warmer i really loved it i will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials dear friends please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials thank you so much dears let's meet in the coming videos